In this example, I would like to write an absolute value inequality whose solution set is given here. So what we could do is we could just get an idea of what this looks like by graphing. So negative 3 and positive 9. There will be open circles, and this one will be going to the left, and this one will be going to the right. Okay, well how can I write an absolute value inequality for this? Well, first I need to know the number right in the middle. So between negative 3 and 9, it looks like if I were to take the average, it would be negative 3 plus 9 is 6, divided by 2 is 3. So it looks like the number in the middle is positive 3. And then the distance here is we've gone up 6, or if we go back this way, we've gone down 6. So we know the value in the middle is 3, and then this distance here that each of these values are from the middle is 6. So the way I can write this absolute value inequality is x minus 3, and it's x minus the midpoint. And since we're going outside, we need this to be greater than, and then there's our distance right there. So here's what our absolute value inequality will look like. But let's go ahead and solve this, and I'll have something else to say, just so we can make sure this is right. So if I was to divide this up, it would be x minus 3 is greater than 6, and x minus 3 is less than negative 6. So adding 3 to everything here, we can say that x is greater than 9, or x is less than negative 3. Well, going back up here, x less than negative 3, well, that's what we had, and then x greater than 9, yep, that's what we had there too. So we know that this is correct, but why is this correct? So let's talk about the way we could generalize a formula here. We could say the absolute value of x minus some midpoint, and then we have the distance, but is it going to be greater than, or is it going to be less than? Well, if it's greater than, like we just saw, then your inequalities will go away from each other. Okay, they'll go to the outsides. But if it's less than, what you'll see is that your absolute values will come together in the middle. Okay, so in general, this is kind of what we're looking for, the midpoint and then that distance, because absolute value concerns itself with distance anyway. And then here's what that inequality will look like, whose solutions are this set right here.